that's one way to better. Can you talk about how Eric Ayala ran the point as a lead guard for most of the yeah. second half? Yeah, he was terrific. And, you know, I said on the radio, I'll say it here, I, you know, after the game Saturday, I, I went through each player and, you know, about with this tone of voice. And Eric's really shot the ball well since he's been here, you right? But we recruited Eric because he was a great passer, okay? And I was like, don't forget who you are, Eric. We love the threes, keep shooting, we made some big ones tonight. But you're also a great facilitator. And uh, he looked like Eric again tonight after a couple games where he didn't look that way. So uh, he was good. You know, Anthony, I think, played four minutes. And, and, um, and Eric, Eric was really good. And uh, we talked about penetrating pitch against their man. And we did that in the second half. We got four threes that way. So guys are listening. But it's good to see Eric back. He's really important to us. Okay, thanks, Coach. This is Mason Viner. Listen to the Young Terps podcast on CapitalSportsBlog.com and TerpTalk.com, the number one rated Maryland sports podcast. It's great to have the students back. They showed up in force tonight, which was great. I think it's been since the Penn State game. Uh, we've had a student section like that. It's a long time ago. Um, and then just the fans battling the weather. It's been, we've had some tough luck with weather on home games this year. I know how hard it is with traffic and weather to get here, so I appreciate everybody coming out. Um, yesterday we had Special Olympics, or Sunday we had Special Olympics. Um, we usually play well after Special Olympics. I probably should do it every week. Um, but I think the smiling really helped us in, in being around Special Olympic uh, players and uh, really helped us. Forward. That said, we were terrific defensively. Uh, we really guarded them. They had trouble shooting the ball, but I think we had a lot to do with it. We were running guys offline. You know, where the shooters were. Uh, our transition defense was a little bit better. Um, and after we quit turning the ball over, we had six turnovers like the first ten minutes. You know, then we had two right at the very end, so we were really good up until uh, you know that stretch there, about uh, 25 minutes or so with the ball. So we're getting there. We're really proud of the defense. Questions, please. John. Mark, it, it looked like it was pretty obvious you wanted to get the ball through him, and, and they didn't really have any answers for him. How much, how much not only did that help you guys, but help open things up for Jalen as well? Yeah, we wanted to get the ball to Bruno and Jalen on the on the block. I think we've posted Jalen a little more than we have recently. Um, so it, it was good. Um, We've been able to play through Bruno a lot, and especially with Anthony, you know, sitting out most of the second half. Um, it really helped us, but um, just what we do, it's who we are. I thought we moved the ball a little bit better in the second half. Then they, they get in front of me, I can talk to them more. We were a little bit stagnant in the first half. Um, but um, Bruno was terrific again. I mean, his rebounding just every night and then his efficiency on offense was great. I told him I didn't like the three, only because he was exhausted. He wasn't playing defense at the other end, but uh, he worked so hard, I guess I can look at You mentioned it, but with Anthony not playing much, is it reassuring to you that they were still able to extend the lead further without him? Yeah, I, I think, you know, Anthony's a really good defender for us, so to continue to guard the way we guarded the second half without Anthony was terrific. And, you know, he was a great teammate in the second half, um, but I can go through all the guys that. You know, Ricky Lindo, Eric Alla, uh, Aaron Wiggins, Sticks. I've been their best defensive game. Daryl Marcel is terrific on defense. Vic Law is a tough matchup. So um, a lot of guys really played well defensively, and that's really what carried us through. Then we were much more efficient in the second half. We got out and ran a little bit more. You know, we got the ball you know, around the rim, which was good. Uh, and coaching this in earlier, had to run the offense through Bruno. You know, how encouraging was it? How did you see Bruno that you like? Well, when he was fresh, he was terrific. And we stuck Bruno more tonight. We took him out of the game more. Short stints, you know, one minute out, and a half, TV timeout, whatever it was. And I thought he stayed fresh. Now, that last one, I had to pull time out for him because it wasn't a stoppage in play. But when he was fresh, he was terrific. His post up. Um, you know, they weren't going to double him because we've been good against the double. Um, 
and he just made good plays. And I, and I don't think he settled. He, he took one turn, turn and face jump shot. I didn't, wasn't particularly in love with, but he can make that. We've been working on it. Uh, but he, he got to the rim and, and, and put pressure on him. And I thought we put foul pressure on him all night, whether it was through the post or through the you know, penetration. Mark, given that it is such a, a, a new group and, and what have you, how much do you learn from this game just because it's the first time you had a team coming off to be skid in, with, with this particular group, especially that kind of game which had that? Yeah, we're going to have games like that, guys. Hopefully not a lot of them. Um, that was a heck of a January. 7-2, we had some good road wins. Um, won a couple games, probably didn't think we were going to win, lost one game, everybody thought we were going to win. Um, but it was a really good January. I I couldn't eat, I was upset. I came to practice yesterday, you guys were terrific. I put you know, four pounds on at dinner last night, because the guys were terrific. I mean, I, was just, I, I just knew that they were ready to come back and play well. And uh, so that's a really good sign for me. Um, Got to remind them that they're a really good basketball team. Andy back, right? Coach, how encouraging to see Jalen Smith back tonight, kind of as, as best after football. Yeah. And he didn't start great, did he? And he pulled the goggles off one time, stumbling around out there. And we need him. You know, we need him. We, he's really been working. So, got a McDonald's All American, right? Um, playing different positions, all this kind of stuff. It's kind of been pushed around. Well, since the Michigan State game, he's got like three or four extra weight room lifts in. We've been beating on him with pads and things in practice. So it's coming. It takes time, uh, but it's coming. And uh, he looked really confident out there, especially in that second half. In terms of the way they responded in practice, uh, for a young team, you know, for a team with freshmen, were you not sure how they were going to respond, or do you know this team well enough that you, you thought they were going to respond the way they did? The guys that needed to respond to lead, responded. Our best players practiced hard. And they do that, everybody follows. So that's really what happened. Turp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the DC Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301 251 2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. Meyer Consulting Engineers. In the past five years, our organization has completed over 1,300 projects in the U.S. and abroad, including many structures at the University of Maryland. For structural engineering and materials testing and inspection, call Meyer Consulting Engineers. Can you talk about how Eric Ayala ran the point as a lead guard for most of the yeah. second half? Yeah, he was terrific. And, you know, I said on the radio, I'll say it here, I, you know, after the game Saturday, I, I went through each player, and, you know, about with this tone of voice. And Eric's really shot the ball well since he's been here, right? But we recruited Eric because he was a great passer, okay? And I was like, don't forget who you are, Eric. We love the threes. Keep shooting them. You made some big ones tonight but you're also a great facilitator. And uh, he looked like Eric again tonight after a couple games where he didn't look that way. So uh, he was good. You know, Anthony, I think, played four minutes. And, and, um, and Eric, Eric was really good. And uh, we talked about penetrating pitch against their man, and we did that in the second half. We got four threes that way. So guys are listening. But it's good to see Eric back. He's really important to us. Thanks, Coach. That's it.